Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. You guys might have seen uh, my supercapacitor flashlight circuit that I built a couple months back. Well, I've made a kit for it. And I'm actually going to sell the kit uh, in a, def a couple different configurations, ranging from inexpensive to kind of expensive, uh, based on what you want. Now, uh, this is the charger board. It's connected to two series capacitors and charges up to roughly 5.3 volts. The capacitors have to be 2.7 volts each because that's how it's configured. So you plug it in. Uh, there's a 5 uh, millimeter jack here. It requires 8 or 9 volts to power. Actually, 7 will work, but preferably between 8 to 9 volts at uh, 1 amp. If you don't want to use the jack, you can actually solder to the bottom. It's got a, a, a control relay. Once the capacitors are charged, the relay turns off, and there's absolutely no back powering from the caps through the circuit. Once you disconnect power, this whole circuit becomes redundant, and all of the voltage lies in the caps connected to this output terminal block. Now what I've got here is a switch that will take that power that's stored on these capacitors, put it through a voltage booster, what I've, which I've tuned to 10 volts, which is then powers this extremely bright LED bag. It's very bright, and it's only tuned to 10 volts. I can tune the output to 12 volts and make it even more bright, but if you have it tuned to 10 volts, this lasts a heck of a lot longer. So, uh, I've actually built one of these. You may have seen it before. And what happens is I can actually plug this in here. It'll recharge, and once it's done charging, this green LED will blink on and off, letting me know, oh, my supercapacitor flashlight is done charging. Whoop-dee-doo, ready to go. This has been charged for a few months. It still hasn't lost its charge. Use it once in a while. All I need to do is plug it back in and, uh, you know, whenever I want. Leave it for 10 minutes. It's good. Uh, 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 full charge, starting from 0 volts on this uh, 2 400 farad 2.7 volt ba uh, bank. Well, when it's tied together in series, it's 200 farads at uh, four po or 5.4 volts bank. Uh, charging from zero volts, it takes about an hour, but once uh, once you get it up and running, if you leave it on for until the uh, LED stops working, it means that there's three volts or less on the capacitors, at which point you just charge it again, it only takes about 15-20 minutes. So the initial charge takes a while. Anyway, so what I'll do is I will stop the video and I will give you a demonstration. I've got my multimeter connected to the capacitor bank. Now I've got my 5 volt power supply here, or rather, sorry, 9 volts at 1 amp. I will plug it in. The LED blinks three times, relay turns on, charging commences. Now we've got a, 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 a 200 farad bank, so we're charging these capacitors at a mere uh, 500 milliamps, just due to the design. It's a slow charge. The power resistor here does get a little bit hot, and when I do the assembly instructions, I will be instructing you to keep it at least one centimeter above the board. That being said, it's slow. It's slowly charging at about a uh, a millivolt a second, maybe a little bit faster. And once that gets up to roughly 5.3 volts, that that area, 5.2, 5.3 volts, uh, the relay will turn off. The charge relay will, relay will turn off, and this LED will continue to blink. Now, if you're going to put this into a flashlight, ideally, what you do is you would uh, extend uh, this LED outwards using wires so that you could uh, put it through your homemade uh, flashlight. Uh, you have to make the modifications. I can provide the electronics. Uh, the board should be available, will be available uh, assembled for a few dollars more or as a kit. I'll be making an assembly video. Anyway, so what I'll do is I will fast forward ahead and when this gets to the area, the the uh, the end charge time, I'll uh, start the video again, and we can watch it uh, turn off. We're almost there. Now what will happen is when this reaches the voltage, you'll hear the relay click off, and the red LED will continue to blink as an indicator. It will not stop blinking until you remove power. Again, there will be no back powering from the capacitors to the circuit, they will be completely isolated once the relay turns off. So you can count on the capacitor staying charged. There we go. 5.33 volts. The bank can handle uh, being charged to 5.4 volts. So now, we can remove power. 
We didn't even have to remove power to turn on our flashlight. Let's saturate our camera sensor. That's bright. Let's just quickly turn off the lights. Anyhow, that should stay on for about 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes non-stop. Again, what makes this appealing is the fact that capacitors, if treated well, will outlive us all. That's what makes it special. So, you build this flashlight, you should never need to replace it. Never need to, to uh, put new batteries in it. Once you buy it, you put it together. And that's what makes this fun. Uh, if you buy just the kit and you have your own capacitors, you've got your own LED bank or your booster, you don't need anything else. You don't even need the booster or the LED bank. You can go to the dollar store, pick up a dollar store flashlight that has LEDs, not bulbs. They take too much power. And you can wire it up directly to the output here. So if you have, if you buy this kit and you have capacitors and you have a dollar store LED flashlight head, you're golden. You just have to buy the kit. You just have to buy the board. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll offer it with just the board, so you can buy the board and use your own components to build the rest. I'll offer it with the board and two capacitors. I will offer it uh, with uh, everything you see here, including the switch, the booster, the bank, the booster, the charge board, and the two 400 farad capacitors. I'll offer them all. They can be, and when I list them, which will be very soon, they can be found at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. The electroniclessons.com will take you to the eBay store. And lastly, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. I made a flashlight that I'll never replace using this exact configuration, which is what inspired me to make this uh, kit. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.